All right, so this is an idea I've had for a while. Um, I'm sure you're all pretty familiar with the meteor tubes that are available. Uh, several of the different retailers carry them. It's a really neat effect in your display, um, but they're a little expensive. Uh, most of them average about 40 bucks a piece. Um, they're all white. Most of them are white. Um, you can get them single colored, none RGB. And most of them run 120 volt AC, so that means they require at least one channel of Lightorama. And they're not really timeable. I mean, not exact anyway. You can kind of figure out what the delay is from the time you fire it until they fire, but you'll never get them all exactly in unison, and you'll never be able to precisely trigger when the timing is. So these were my first attempt. Um, what I'm going to call a Pixicle. These are made with intelligent RGB pixel strip. Uh, similar to like a CCR, these are a 2801 strip that I ordered out of China. Um, you can see they're different lengths. I uh, probably will go ahead and make some shorter ones too. But just to show you what these do, I'm going to go ahead and play a sequence. This is straight out of uh, Lightorama S3. So this shows you kind of what we're used to with meteor tubes, the white trailing effect. But you'll notice that these can actually go in unison. And they don't do just white. And we see green. In fact, they'll do any color. They can do multiple colors together. So you could do a uh, white with a red tail on it if you wanted. These right now are running on 27 channels of DMX um, through one of the $16 protocol converters. That's the little box you see up there. So as you can see, we're doing multiple colors together now, multiple colors at the same time. And each one of these drips is actually moving in time with our music. Again, none of those are things you're going to get with a regular meteor tube. So that's as far as I've programmed on this one. Um, construction on these is really basic, really simple. All I did was take a piece of half inch PVC, put a cap on this end, ran my digital strip up, and I got a pair of pigtails at the top, one coming in, one going out. Um, each uh, the sequences is based on a seven channel uh, or seven RGB channel because my longest tubes are seven pixels long. The media uh, in between ones are five pixels, and like I said, I'll probably do a couple little shorties that are uh, three or four pixels long. Um, but these all run off just that one little protocol converter. Um, and again, I'm using 27 channels. I can add as many to this as I want. Um, what I'm doing is actually running three sets of seven channels and then duplicating them over because the pixel strip always recognizes the first pixel in the run uh, as channel one. So here you see coming out of the protocol converter, I'm going to my first uh, tube with seven channels in it. And then I'm coming off of that through an extension and then coming down to this tube over here. So that means this tube and this tube will run together. Um, but I have two others in between. And again, with the way I've wired them, I can use any length of extension in between each of these. Um, they can be run close together, like you're seeing them here, or you know, 25 feet apart if I wanted them to, to be that way. So that's it, that's my newest little project uh, trying to design or come up with something that I can use these protocol converters for and a simple project with some pixels um, 
just to, to try something different. 